Wow. They've lost a daughter, sister. But but I'm telling you right now, there'll be a lot of good changes coming out of that with with things like our local mental health authorities interviewing, you know, people that come in a whole lot closer. Uh, our jailers will probably end up with more rules from the state. I've already implemented them here. I don't give them an option now. Where the rules now and the way the law is, if, if you're not making an outcry or if I don't see you in distress, I don't have to call the mental health authority to get you checked. But now, if you if we know remotely you got anything in your past, you get interviewed now here. So, as I said, that doesn't do Sandra Bland's family any good. But at least this part, there'll be some good come out of it. There wasn't already a policy you know. regarding suicidal ideation and having somebody evaluated? That's what I just said. No, I, I understand you just said that there will be, but no, historically... No. What I said was the way the law is now, if you come in and tell us that, yeah, you're going to go out and try to commit suicide, but you're talking, you're acting fine, you don't act like you're stressing, we don't have to call them with a mental health card. So we're the jailer. It in February? Officer. No, it wasn't. Okay. It, was it, it was, I mean, one of the forms that got 2015, but it does not accurate. It was 14 when she did. Okay. Can I ask that question, Chair? Why were there three different forms that, that had her saying she, she, couldn't, she tried to attempt suicide? It's good. It's good. What they do here, every jail on that is different. Obviously, you go to Harris County, you might get stuck for hours or a day before you ever get processed, just by the nature of how many people. But if you look on that video, when they come in that room, a jailer comes out there and meets them, looks at them, See if there's any physical thing wrong with them, or you bleeding, or you hurt, and then they ask them those questions. They go through them. How do you feel? You depressed? You ever try to commit suicide? You don't need any medication, and all that. Get them out of their clothes, get them jail clothes, and put them in the holding cell. Later on, they bring them back up to their computer. And they bring up, they go back to the same thing again and put it on the computer. She changes some of the answer. Not unusual. You know, first time she said she was depressed, second time she told the jailer, no, I'm pissed. I mean, she didn't put, I'm pissed on the form. She just put, no, I'd be pissed too. Well, Sheriff, I, I just want to bring up one thing and then I'll leave. No. Okay. Uh, between the DPS video from the dash cam and the video here, the reason why people have a lot of questions of what's going on, because there's numerous anomalies in the videos. There's anomalies in the, the booking and intake videos that you have, and there's anomalies with the DPS video. Of all the times that I've seen this, I haven't seen. Go ahead. Number of what now? Video anomalies, where where things in your video inconsistencies, where video, where your video freezes at times, yes. right. Right. and 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 it occurs, and and then the same thing with the DPS video, and it's about the same person. Never in my life of being involved in this and watching videos have I seen the amount of anomalies involved, and not one set of videos, but now your set of videos. So what is the what is the I coincidence can't. between your set of videos and the DPS videos? which are different yes. jurisdictions and different right. times, both of y'all's concerning Sandra Bland's have numerous anomalies where the video freezes or it loops. Yeah. Can you explain that to me? Have you noticed that looking at your own video, like I in the past? Have okay. you? Yeah, go ahead. I, I've got no idea about Trooper's video. I don't even know what brand it is or okay. what he's doing. I can tell you in here what about yours? that every camera in here is motion sensor. Okay, motion sensor. And then stop and start, stop and start. I can secondary tell you that we pulled the whole, we called our outside tech person. We don't even keep a key to the system. They pulled the whole entire DVR, give it to the FBI. And I'm sure that if there's what, what 
Yes, there's there's inconsistencies where it shows that they. I, 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 I just don't the see room. the FBI covering. Uh, Do most sisters not cover the whole room. They anymore? do. Okay. Okay. Yeah, well, yeah, most sisters in our house. That's they all the whole they, room. That's all yeah. they, that I could explain on there. But uh, but I am thinking that I am quite sure they've got the whole DVR system. Okay. The whole is, thing. Do you know the name brand of this your uh, camera system? Do you have that? Is there, tag security out of Walmart does that. All right, thank you. As far as the motor sensitive cameras, is there an on and off switch that someone has access to? So it runs 24 7. Who is certified and or verifying the, the, the verification? That system's in a lockbox, and that outside security company is the one that's got access to it. We don't. There's nobody here that does. So there's nobody that can turn it on and off. Okay. And when it's done, how is it recorded? Is it on the chip? Is it video streamed? How is it archived? Uh, it's a DVR. I mean, whatever. Okay. You get technical now. No, I'm sorry. But sure, I, I'm sorry. I'm in that age group that's not that. I can't tell you. Okay. I have just one follow-up question, then I'll leave you alone. I know it's been a long... I know, I uh, think I said one question. A, a long... Ten, ten questions. Some, that's all right. But you, you mentioned in the when uh, when she was being processed, there are two different forms. That the you know the first time she said well, same form, well, same but form, it, but two different. Right. You fill out, ask the same. You right. ask the same series of questions. Right. Uh, during the process, uh, the jailer or the the processing officer, it was mentioned in the original autopsy report that she had scars on her wrist, consistent with. Uh, yeah, suicide I think the picture attempt. Show up here. Okay, but Over my question, like my questioning is, is when the jailer observed that, why was that not a signal to say, okay, let's take this to another level? It, why was she still treated as any other detainee? Why was that? Why was that not factor in? I, I agree with you 100. percent It should. Okay. Then my follow up. I, I got, then I'm, then I'm, I'm done. The follow up because you mentioned, mentioned before. This is more of a, a comment than a question. I have a medical background, mm -hmm. and as was mentioned before, and the, well, you could hear it. You couldn't see it in the uh, DPS officer's um, video or well, the audio. Mentioned that she hit her head and she could not hear. Now, all of us with, in medical background would say that it's best to have an external. Injury or wound than internal, and, and they even tell you if it's internal, but you, you don't know, so don't even fall asleep. Right. So this also goes back to where was her mind uh, state right. during this process? If you could hear on the audio that she had sustained a head injury, so it still gets back to this whole process. Not trying to place blame on you as the no, sheriff, because, but you are the you're the right. overseer. No. That you're responsible for this county. It, now, it, my, my, my next, responsibility you here at the jail. I don't. I don't disagree with anything you're saying about the, the medical, mental, or or anything about them. You know, the jailers didn't violate any rule or anything the way that was handled. Now, what the final autopsy deal? Obviously, some of that with a head injury or anything. Obviously, it wasn't indicated that she had any of what preliminary that I know about the autopsy. But what you're saying about that, I, I, I get what you're saying and understand where you're coming from. And hopefully, I guess, the family did one too, as far as I know. Um, okay, speaking of autopsy, did you smell marijuana in this jail? No, trust me, we didn't go back to that. And, we and got she, a she didn't have nothing on her either. We did. We got an independent plumber to come back in here and scope the whole system, make sure we didn't have any flush down in the toilet. Okay, because they said a large amount said that she, right. that she might have been smoking in jail. In jail. Uh, so you, so, I so you, so nothing happened in jail. The child she, nowhere. She could have swallowed some on the traffic stop. I, I don't know. Three days later. I don't know. But I've, I've That's heard a hell of a high. But just as a witness yeah. to this jail, y'all, like none of your officers said they've smelled. Nobody smelled anything. <laughs> let me. Let me. Okay. Let me. Let me I've got everything I need. I understand. Yeah, but let me you got everything. Let me tell you what Glenn says on that. Not a doctor and not a medical guy, but I know for a fact what they did before. You swallow a small bag of anything, and you hope it passes all the way through you. But sometimes it gets in your intestine, and it ruptures. Now, that part, you can Google. 
That's factual. Yeah, you so if that occurred, she would have.